What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, finally freaking Friday. My goodness, we are already into week number 16 of the NFL season. I can't believe how quickly the season goes. I mean, it seems like it takes forever to get here. And the next thing you know, boom, you're in week 16, looking at the last three games of the season the dallas cowboys get ready to take on the miami dolphins and i couldn't be any more excited than i am and we have some interesting news you know something that's kind of gaining steam outside of the dallas cowboys where everybody seems to have an opinion on what needs to be done and what they should do to try and make things work some things are right some things are wrong one of the ones you've heard from guys like Bart Scott is they need to take Micah Parsons and make him just a linebacker to Rome because he's not as good against the run. The reality is, is I don't think that that's going to happen. Jerry Jones said he doesn't have much interest in the idea of Micah Parsons going to work at linebacker. His greatest attributes to our team is pressure. And I hate to tell you this, Jerry is right. Um, pressure on the quarterback is key. And see, here's the thing that you got to understand is the outside rushers. Okay. The problem is not so much Micah Parsons on the run game because your run, excuse me, your edge rushers, your job is to go outside contain, keep anything from getting outside of you and getting pressure and getting upfield. It's the guys in the middle that need to be able to step up and make the, the plays, i.e. we miss Hankins a lot. And we need Mozzie Smith to step up. We need our tackles to go ahead and take care of business. The key on this is actually when you have a great interior lineman, when you have a great guy like Hankins who requires double teams, that keeps those uh, guards from being able to get onto the second level for the linebackers to make the hay. Yes, Marquise Bell is a little bit too small to be like a linebacker and so on. And the idea of Micah Parsons being the guy that's roaming is not a bad idea. But in the times we've seen Micah Parsons at linebacker, I'm not saying he's bad. What I am saying is, is he's not as effective as he is as an edge rusher. And getting guys that can make hay the way he does, a guy who can literally run through Lane Johnson and bloody his nose, are few and far between. And if you lose that, if you lose that, then what you're gaining in the run support is not going to help you. The reality is, is people will panic off of one game. And you got to slow your roll just a little bit, okay? Dan Quinn is a master at this defense, and he has come up with more schemes and things that will work. I just look at this as that game is more of the exception than the rule for the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys have been, for the most part, a really good team. They were on the road after a long, rough uh rough time rough games coming off a big emotional win over the eagles and i think they got full of themselves quite frankly i think it's just that they thought all we had to do was show up the buffalo bills are a wounded animal and we're just going to roll through these guys and in the nfl if you have that attitude and i don't care what team you are you're going to lose the game now i think that the cowboys are getting back to focusing this week and that they'll be ready to really rock and roll now I've got to say, this is kind of a couple of things here. One, you mother humping Eagle fans, and I'll go into this a little bit more later. I'm really disappointed in y'all. I am really and truly disappointed. Because... You guys, I, I always say, I, I said, I, I, I said this over and over again to you guys. I said, listen, I don't care if you talk smack to me. Okay. I don't care if you do. I don't care if you trash my team, you know, just don't, don't, don't make it personal and things like that. But I said, if you're going to talk the talk, then make sure you walk the walk. Don't be a cockroach. And right now I can say kind of Philadelphia. I can say the lovely Linda. I can say Logan Motorsports, Faded Punch did show up, and Twiz Digga. Out of all <clears throat> of the, and, and Philly 500. Understand that the highest city 
I have views from is Dallas, Texas. The second highest is Philadelphia. You're going to tell me that those six people are where all my views are coming from? See, y'all, you're soft. You're little punks. Sorry. You know, I do the walk of shame all the time. Lord knows. You know, they say you're a bandwagon. There ain't no bandwagon with the Cowboys. There ain't no bandwagon. So man up. We miss you. And get your ass back in here. An interesting piece here. <laughs> Shout out to da da dunt da da dunt. Damn, Gina. <laughs> rumors. Look at all these rumors around me every day. The Eagles are starting to have internal concerns about Jalen Hurts. Pause. The Eagles on a three-game losing streak, and the offense has been struggling. Huh. Really? Hmm. Yeah. The Eagles are going through some hard times right now. And the Eagles probably feeling like this is deja vu. Having gone through Carson Wentz having that 13-game stretch his second year where he was just unbelievable to becoming an unbelievable turnover machine after they had paid him. And now you look at Jalen Hurts, who last year had that incredible season that went to the Super Bowl, and they paid him. And now seemingly have regressed into a turnover machine, much like Carson Wentz. So I can understand the internal concern that they have about Jalen Hurts. But unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on which side of the fence you're on, there's not a lot you can do about it. You're going to have to fix the problem. You're going to have to right the ship. As much as Eagle fans are so ready to just go ahead and start all over, <laughs> it's kind of hard to start all over when you got a guy making 50 plus million a year and you are in the first year where you literally backloaded the whole contract. Ah, <sighs> boy. Yeah, I will see you guys a little bit later. We will be doing our live stream as always, as always, at 9 o'clock on Friday night as we get ready for week number 16, Saturdays. Uh, we got two games on Saturday starting at 4.30. We'll be seeing you guys then. Until then, just remember to... Yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no! They suck. Person. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They shit on you. Oh. They shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan? <sighs> Caleb Carter. It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan? <sighs> Caleb Carter. It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness.